The death of Belarusian activist Vitaly Shishov has sparked widespread protests in Ukraine. Shishov was the head of Kiev-based organization that helped Belarusians fleeing persecution in the country. Dozens of people gathered in front of the Belarus embassy in Kiev to pay tribute to the Belarusian dissident. Mourners, mostly Belarus citizens, who fled to Ukraine were wrapped in Belarus opposition flags and chanted slogans like, We will not forget. We will not forgive. Еще если вспомнить события еще до выборов в прошлом году, казалось, что уже хуже быть не может. Но с каждым разом, э, скажем так, наши, так, даже не знаю, как оккупанты в Беларуси, они с каждым разом все, э, скажем, ну, больше и больше шокируют своими действиями, которые совершают в отношении... Самое страшное, что они, э, скажем, выступают это, в бою с собственным народом, с людьми, которые... с гражданами Беларуси. Вот это самое страшное. И люди просто, даже я вспомню, вспоминая события прошлого года, мы до конца даже не верили в то, что власти на такое способны. Shishov's body was found hanged in a park near his home in Kiev a day after he failed to return from a morning job. Police have opened a murder inquiry to investigate the case. Shishov was one of the many Belarusians who left the country after the anti-government protests rocked the region last year, following the disputed re-election of President Alexander Lukashenko. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson on Tuesday met with Belarusian opposition leader Svetlana Tikhanouskaya at his office in London, saying the UK is on her side and committed to supporting human rights in her country. Following her meeting with UK Prime Minister, Tikhanouskaya said that she would need to wait for the results of the investigation into the death of the activists to say whether it was a crime or not. Uh, you know, I'd prefer to wait for uh, results of investigation because uh, uh, I can't, uh, I understand uh, the background of this uh, death. I would say it was crime, uh, but I can't say it without uh, any results of investigation. You know, it, it's our pain when uh, our girls and people, uh, you know, being kidnapped or being um, killed. Uh, by the regime's crimes. Shishov's death is the latest incident to prompt an international scrutiny of a President Lukashenko's authoritarian government. Thousands of protesters have been detained and leading opposition figures are either in jail or living in exile. Ukraine, Poland and Lithuania have now become the safe havens for Belarusians fleeing the country.